There are many ways to select objects in Altium Designer that can be useful in a variety of situations. In this video, we'll take a look at the tools from the Edit Select menu. Quickly call this menu with the S hotkey. The first tool we'll look at is Select Next. It is often used for tracks. After selecting a segment, press the Tab key. All track segments on the active layer are chosen. Press Tab again to select all currently connected copper. The next press of the Tab key will select all objects with the same net across all layers. When selecting multiple objects, for example objects in the same net, we can use the Post Selection filter to select only track properties and change their width. Don't forget to return the Post Selection filter to All Objects mode. It is often necessary to select all track segments to delete or use the Gloss and Retrace tools from the Route menu. The Net and Connected Copper tools are special cases of the Select Next tool. Connected Copper can be used to select a section of a topology for copying. You can select an anchor point to copy the selection using the Ctrl C keys, and paste using Ctrl V. The polygon net is not saved when copied. Assign it through the Properties panel. Tools from the Edit Select menu can work in conjunction with the selection filter. For example, we need to move a group of components. We choose only the Components tab in the selection filter. Consider the Lasso Select tool. It allows you to create complex selection areas with the movement of the mouse cursor. By pressing the space key, you can switch to the polygon mode of drawing the area. You can exit the area construction mode by right clicking. Then you can move the selected objects, return the selection filter to all objects. The outside area tool allows you to select all objects outside of the specified area. If you select the whole board as an area, you can find and select objects outside the board. The presence of such objects can be determined from the Properties panel, and you can quickly show these objects through the View menu. You can delete such objects if necessary. Using the Touching Line tool when selecting within a frame is inconvenient, for example, selecting angled conductor segments. Combine this tool with the Select Next tool to quickly select all segments of a track group. The Component Connections tool selects the entire topology connected to the selected component. You can create a topology for one component, then select and copy it for pasting in similar components, speeding up the topology creation process. The X and Y keys flip the inserted topology along the X and Y axes respectively. The Component Nets tool selects the connections of the selected component. This may be required when using the PCB Active Route tool. There are times when in a multi-layer board, you need to move the entire topology from one layer to another. The All On Layer tool selects all topology objects on the active layer. Activate the desired layer and run the All On Layer tool. All topology objects on the active layer are selected. If these objects are of different types, then we use the Post Selection filter to filter for individual object properties. We can then change the layer for them and then switch to other object properties to change the layer. Repeat until you move all topology objects from one layer to another. In the Edit menu, besides the Select tools, there's a group of Deselect tools. They work the same way, allowing you to exclude objects from selection. By combining the tools from the Select and Deselect menus, you can achieve maximum efficiency when selecting objects.